Hi guys, it's Kat. Today, I'm showing you how I made this miniature 1 to 12 scale toilet. To add to the realism, it actually has pipes and a tank that holds and moves water through it. It's so cool to see water disappear from the toilet bowl and then have it refilled. The toilet lid and seat also lift up and down just like a real one. This was such a fun project to build and it's the perfect addition to any dollhouse bathroom. Before we jump into today's tutorial, let me take a moment to thank the sponsor of today's video, Skillshare. Skillshare is not only the largest learning community of creatives and industry professionals, it's also where you can start your journey to learning new skills and achieving your goals. Skillshare offers these fun learning paths. Learning paths are curated high quality classes in the category of your choice, so you have a clear direction to reach your goals. I have always wanted to learn Blender, which is a more advanced 3D modeling software. I chose a learning path title, Build 3D Models and Animations with Blender. And high quality classes were perfect to deepen my knowledge of 3D design. I was able to learn at my own pace with the curated classes, which was absolutely perfect for my busy schedule. After a few days of lessons, I had the basics down. In fact, I was able to create a beautiful model of a toilet in Blender that looks just like its real life counterpart. Want to start your learning journey today? The first 500 people to use my link in the description will get a one month free trial of Skillshare. Now let's get into our tutorial. If you're making this by hand, I recommend using polymer clay for this complex design. I won't go through those steps because Sugar Charm Shop already made an incredible tutorial that you can check out in the link below. Her work is incredible and her videos go through all her steps in great detail. Sugar Charm Shop already did a phenomenal job because she's the master of all things polymer clay. Today, I'll be showing you how to model this. To keep things easy and simple for you, I'm showing you how to create this toilet in Tinkercad. Blender is too complex to teach in one video as it's a more advanced 3D software and Tinkercad is just easier for those starting out. I first pull in one of these purple cones from our shape sidebar. Increase the top radius to give it a flat top. Then pull in a blue sphere. Stretch out the side to give it an elongated shape. Put that on top of our purple cylinder. Then take a red cube and place it next to our first two shapes. Scale it up in height but make it more narrow than our first two shapes. Take another red cube and put that above the first one. This one should be flatter but wider than the first red cube. Increase the radius for both red cubes to give it a rounder appearance on the corners. Now I grab an invisible cube and use it to cut away the top half of our blue sphere. You can already start to see the toilet taking shape. Next, grab another red cube. This one will act as a tank behind our toilet bowl. It should be wide, but not very deep. I also increase the radius to round out the corners. Make a duplicate of it and turn that invisible. Shrink it down a bit and put it inside the tank. Combine these two shapes to cut out the inside of the tank. Then cut away the top rim. Make a duplicate of our original tank shape. This will be for our tank lid. Cut off most of the bottom. Increase the size just a bit and place it above the tank. I use the shape of the tank to cut out a shallow groove inside the lid. Back to our toilet bowl. Make a duplicate of the blue sphere and put it to the side. Shrink the blue sphere just a bit and turn it invisible. Then combine all the shapes except the tank. Turn our blue sphere invisible and put it inside the bowl. Combine the two shapes to create a cutout for the bowl interior. You can stop here and you already have a really cute basic toilet. But let's go in for the fun details. For the pipe, I go into the shapes generator category in the sidebar. Select the purple bent pipe. Scale it down and play around the angle to get a rounded shape. I use a few of these and combine them to get a curvy pipe along the back area underneath the red tank. Use a reference picture to get a realistic shape. I make sure the two reaches the bottom back of the toilet and also up the toilet bowl. Combine a toilet and this purple tube. Create a duplicate of this shape and make it more narrow than the original tube. 
Then take the pink thinner tube and place it inside the area where we just placed the purple tube. Turn it invisible and combine the shapes. This creates an open pipe inside the toilet model. It's hard to see here, but this is basically an opening for the water to flow. It goes from the toilet bowl to the back bottom of the toilet base. To finish up the pipes, I take an orange cylinder and shrink it down. Place that inside the tank and connect it to the existing pipe. This will allow water to flow from the tank into the bowl. Turn it invisible and combine the shapes together. Now onto the accessories. First is the toilet seat. I first start with this blue donut shape. I make the donut thinner and stretch it out to match the size of the bowl's rim. Flatten it down. Then I cut off the bottom half so we have a flat base. Then cut away a small piece of the back. That's where we'll be adding the hinge. At this point, I use a red cube and add a flat back to the toilet bowl as well. Combine those shapes. I put an orange cylinder back here for an initial hinge, but ignore that for now. We'll come back to it. Although I'm not done with the seat just yet, let's make the seat cover. It'll be easy to create the hinges with both of these shapes already in place. For the toilet seat cover, I'm using an orange cylinder and stretching it out to match the size of our seat. Flatten it down. I turn this magenta so it stands out a bit better for the video. I also cut away a back section on this piece. Rotate it so it's vertical. Now it's time to make the hinges. I add a long orange cylinder right where we cut off that little section. Lower it just a bit as we'll be adding a flat strip using a red cube. Shrink that down so it matches the width of the cylinder and is the same thickness as the seat cover. Delete the orange cylinder that we made on the blue seat. I make a copy of this red and orange hinge and place it on the back of this blue seat. Shorten the sides of it so it's half the length. Center it on the seat. Combine the shapes of the seat and turn it white. Then I take a light blue half cylinder shape and add some volume to the back of the seat. Next, I grab an invisible cube and resize it to the same size as the hinge on the seat. Use this invisible cube to cut away the hinge area on the seat cover. This will allow the seat and seat cover to sit flat against each other. On the bowl, I add a small half cylinder on each side of the hinge. Use an invisible thin cylinder to cut a hole through the center of the hinge on all of these pieces. The model is nearly done. We just need to add a simple flush handle. I first add a hole on the front left side of the tank. Then the handle is just an orange cylinder and a red rectangle. It couldn't be easier. Now the model is all done. This model prints beautifully in both resin and filament. With resin, I only need a support on the back area of this toilet. The C and C cover need a bit more support, but they were easy to remove. With a bit of sanding, it's ready for paint. If you're printing with filament, use supports on the same back area. This is the model printed in white filament. It prints it beautifully using the precision setting on my Ender 3. Filament supports are always a breeze to remove. If you print primarily in filament, I highly recommend getting this deburring tool. It helps clean up rough edges and stringing very easily. For the seat and the seat cover, I printed them on their sides. This helped me get some of the details I added on later like these little bumps and a curve inside the cover.
Before we paint the model, let me show you how the pipes work. If you pour water into the tank, it will fill the bowl. And any water that fills the bowl will also pour out of the back of the toilet. If you want water to stay in the bowl, simply plug that back hole. For a flawless paint job that resembles porcelain, nothing beats glossy spray paints. For a high shine glossy look, I'll be using this UV Joe nail top coat. You can also paint on regular UV resin with a brush. I just like using this top coat because it cures without a tacky finish that needs to be cleaned off. This additional step adds such a smooth beautiful shine and fills in any and all print lines. Once your paint job is done, all that's left is assembly. For the hinge on a seat and seat cover, I'll be using 24 gauge beading wire. Stack the seat and seat lid together. Then position the hinge inside the two notches behind the toilet bowl. Thread the wire through all three pieces. Push the wire all the way to one side and add some epoxy to seal that area. I'm using JB Well Metal Epoxy here. Once that side is cured, cut off the other end and epoxy this area as well. Then just add some paint on the ends to camouflage the epoxy. Lastly, we just need to paint the flush handle. I made mine chrome, but white would also look really nice. It fits perfectly into the hole that we made in the tank. And that's it. This miniature toilet is all done. If you're interested in the model I printed today, I have the digital file on my Etsy shop. However, I do hope you try creating this yourself. And if you do, please share it with me. I love seeing what you guys create. I hope you enjoy the video and learn something new. I love how this project came together. And thank you again to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. I'll see you next time. Bye.